All right, everybody. So last night was actually a pretty exciting night for Mike and I. We came outside to close up the chickens and all 10 of them were roosted up in their little house here. So the past several weeks, we've been having trouble getting them to go back in their coop at night. Um, they've just been kind of roosting up on this little roof here. They're huddled underneath and they're just not going back in. So we've just had to put them inside every single night. But last night we came out here and they were all, all in there. So it was, we were using a heat lamp and come to find out they can't see that like infrared um, that that lamp is putting out. So we put a different lamp in there. We just put it on a timer. So it comes out, it comes on when it gets dark and we came out here and they were all in here. So we call that a win. We're gonna, we're gonna spruce up their chicken coop. That's for sure. We wanna paint it. We're gonna add some nesting boxes. We have a little window we're gonna put here. So it's gonna be pretty nice for them here pretty soon. I've got some chicken scratch for you girls. All right, we're going for a walk up the hill. Oh, here you are, face to face in this trashy bar. Another glass and I am going places makes me laugh about the irony of everything. I like the way you're thinking. I don't really care about the music on the dance floor. I don't really mind all the smoke is in the bathroom. I don't care at all, baby. You got my don't think this is from the dogs. Oh boy. What do you guys think? Do you think the cats did this? That sucks. That's an ear. I've been saying that I want to try tea with this birch water. So we are gonna give it a try this morning. Back to boiling water on the stove. My electric tea kettle is recently out of commission and we have no whistling tea kettle, but this works just fine. I definitely wouldn't say I'm a major advocate for birch water, but it does taste pretty good chilled and it's supposed to be pretty good for you as long as you drink it in moderation. Um, so here we go. We're going to try it with tea. All I have right now is black tea. I think it might be a little better with some green tea or something like that, but we will see. So it tastes like tea with a hint of something extra, which is okay. If you can drink it for, I don't know, a few weeks out of the year and it's supposed to help with digestion among other things, then I'll take it. Okay. All right, so we had our breakfast and our tea. Right now, Mike and I are in our kitchen and we have a fun little project going on. We're getting our stove hooked up, our legit kitchen stove that we're going to be using. So I'm gonna show you guys kind of what we have going on, what we've been doing for the past you know, month or two since we've been living in the loft. But we have our refrigerator here, um, just kind of your standard refrigerator. We do have cupboards that are gonna go above it eventually, but that'll be much later on. Temporary counters and like kind of cupboards going on right now that we're building and in the process of building 
these are might cut these but we're waiting for our permanent ones to dry so we just have these on here for now this is the kitchen sink that we purchased that is ready to be hooked up so that is also coming soon the fixture or the faucet that we're going to be using so yeah and then you come over here and we have the stove which is what we are working on today so for the, for the past you know year or so we've been using the camp stove so this is something that we we're pretty excited about to be able to use an oven and just a full-size range we got all of our appliances from Mike's grandparents so huge huge shout out to them we are super appreciative they're more beautiful than we definitely would have had before so we're pretty happy about that but yeah we are gonna get this bad boy all hooked up we might have to run to the hardware store or even to the big city because there's a piece that we might need to go buy but Mike's gonna talk about that here Yeah. The man might. Oh yeah. All right, what's up guys? So what we got going on here is we've bought this gas line and I don't really know what size I'm trying to work with. This is the gas line for the stovetop only. This range is a, I guess a dual purpose. What do they call that? Like a dual fuel range, dual, fuel. dual source. Right. Um, <laughs> there's this hooks up to the stovetop and then for the oven it's actually powered by electricity and you can see we already have our electric plumbed in and I'm gonna beat you guys to the punch this range only requires a 30 amp breaker and that is why we only have this 30 amp wire here so 30 amp breaker on the range and then the gas line that runs uh, the stovetop so we're really trying to get the gas line plumbed in this is what we got and as you can see this fitting is close but it's not quite the one that we needed so we really have to figure that out and then a lot of you guys will remember this piece from our furnace downstairs before we had the wood stove in we will be abandoning the water line that we used for that but we are going to be keeping the regulator in the fittings all of this is made for propane so we will be using this until we get you know a big 300 gallon tank outside one day for farther down the road um so this is like a downdraft system is what it's called and what this does is this little piece up here raises up when you push this button and it actually sucks the fumes down and through the floor out of ventilation system rather than having the hood overneath uh the stove top you know to, or, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> right yeah or above the <laughs> stove top so yeah this just pulls the fumes back rather than having it go straight up typically like you see in a house so it's a little tricky if you want to come around to this side now this is where this vent hooks in right here and as you can see we do have our bottom plate right here in Perfectly underneath our bottom plate is a floor joist. So it was just a little tricky on how we were gonna figure out how to get this ventilation system um, like through the floor. We definitely wanna go down with it. And what we're gonna do is just build a closet on this side of the system. And uh, this will just be exposed on this side. So not the worst thing in the world. It's not super ideal, um, but luckily it's exposed on the living side and not in the kitchen side. Very tiny. One's missing. Yep. <coughs> Two on that side. So the one I'm after is this brass one right here. And it looks like that is going into the regulator. No. What about you? Oh, that is so tight. Oh, 
Oh, it is. It works. That's it. That's the right piece. So that makes it a little easier because that now means we only need one fitting. We need the fitting to go from this piece to this piece. And we'll just cut a hole in the floor to feed this through. Um, and so we ran an extra one. Okay. That's what that white wire is. What are you doing? <laughs> it's getting so what fittings did I just take off? Can we use any of those? Have a nice, nice little pillow. That might just be a coupler, so yeah, let's take that off. I think this looks nice over here. Not bad. Still needs to be cleaned up. Oh, yeah. Shouldn't have like just light switches hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> have literally one left. Alright. Before it's full. This little brute force can't fix. Right? Uh, I don't know if this is gonna be enough. It's gonna be close. Maybe. Hopefully. To do that, that's good. This is for sure my ground. That's my neutral. These are both power. These guys down to there. Yes. To go on the hookup. Good. Now we just gotta figure out this Oops, one. Sorry. <laughs> Flinging things at me. Didn't even try. Did I get you that time? <laughs> no. Meow. What was that? Meow. See, we talk. What is she saying? We're on speaking terms. She's hungry. <laughs> she has food. I She's guess. always hungry. <laughs> Her food isn't fresh enough. She needs fresh food. Yes. Hold the trick to good electrical is tight connections. Hi, mittens. Oh, yeah. They're all tight. That's a good thing. Okay. And now we need to get this one in here.
this one is going into the neutral. This is a little big, but this is the only single strand of wire we have. Okay. Now we need the gas. Check mark electrical. Check mark electrical. Nice job. All right, guys. So we worked on this for a good portion of the day yesterday, and we didn't want to just completely abandon ship, even though we ran into a couple of, I don't know, bumps, bumps in the road. We had some bumps in the road. Yeah. So we drilled the holes in the floor. We got the line all ran, and the little PEX clamps actually worked perfect. So we nailed the line up. Got it all hooked up to the propane tank and we went to turn everything on, you know, open the gas and turn it all on. And for some reason it wasn't flowing. Um, mm -hmm. But in that process, we, I, I could hear it to do was tighten up that fitting and trying to tighten that fitting. I actually ended up cracking the fitting. So that wasn't good. Cause then we had this pressurized propane line, just mm -hmm. spraying propane all in the shop. So, yep. so that was cool. It was yeah, fun. Super yeah. fun. Um, <laughs> But like I said, we didn't want to abandon ship. We still wanted to cook on this thing. So we took a, just a five gallon propane tank and we hooked up that little plumber's line that we had as a very temporary use. Old so, trusty. Old trusty. So we hooked that up underneath the stove, as you can see here, and then we just have the tank running. So when we need the stove, we turn it on, turn it off when it's not in use. It works perfectly. That's hooked up to electricity. The top range is working as well with the five gallon tank. We're pretty excited. We have the camp stove all packed away and we are now officially not hill people. <laughs> not hill people, civilized. We're slowly moving yeah, out of hill person up. status. Yeah. This was a pretty pretty good day for us because we've like we said we've haven't had a full size stove in over a year. Yeah, so we're pretty happy cool. about it. We still have a lot of things to do on it. Um, the downdraft system is not hooked up yet. It's just a couple wires and a little bit of plumbing that we need to do on that. But for the most part, it is running. I mean, it's usable. Yep. It's usable. Cool. Yeah. If you guys haven't already, please like and subscribe down below. And we'll catch you in the next video. See you next time.